I need to send you off with a message of hope. And that's really easy to do. We did hear in that panel on the social sciences yesterday, uh, and then today on that panel on constitutional law, we did hear you know, more than a little bit about how bleak the situation is in our culture today. But when I look at, when I listen to what I'm hearing from the young people who are stepping into leadership roles intellectually, even the ones who aren't my students, it's impossible not to be filled with hope. When I look at the younger generation of rising scholars and intellectuals, it is so much stronger than my generation. My generation in some ways was a lost generation. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But your generation is not lost. And I want to commend to the skies the combination of brilliance and courage that you exemplify, you young scholars, you young intellectuals uh, out there. You really do fill me with hope. And the rest of us, those of my generation, really should join me in being filled with hope because we're passing the baton to some extraordinary people. It's going to take all the courage you can muster to turn this thing around, as Father Newhouse liked to say. It's going to take fidelity to those virtues and principles that Justice Alito kindly praised me for. Whether or not I merit that praise, you need to exemplify those virtues. You have to be faithful to them all the way. Times of temptation will come, let me assure you. They will come. The temptation to compromise on those virtues, to fail in courage, to fail in integrity and even in charity. And when those times come, you must draw on all the resources of your faith to sustain you so that you can be faithful to those virtues. That's important for yourselves to be the best you can be, and it's critically important to the causes, those great and noble causes to which you have, to your enormous credit, chosen to dedicate yourself. So I'll conclude by saying, onward, Judeo-Christian soldiers, <laughs> and next year in Malibu. Thank you, everyone.